Are you outside in the harsh weather where it's freezing or snowing? Maybe you're sled riding. I am inside, warm and cozy, where you should be watching my YouTube channel. Yes, subscribe, like, turn on your post notifications because there is so much more to come. And what about my premium subscription? Do you subscribe to that? Hmm? You better because you don't want to miss all the exciting news, especially if you're a competition dancer. This is it. This rounds out all the fan favorites from the entire series. From season one, episode one, all the way to the very, should I say the word end? You never know. First up, Eliana Solo from season seven, TKO. Do you know what TKO means? The knockout. So when two fighters are in a ring and one of them just punches and the guy goes down, that's called a knockout. And you win by knockout. Now, a knockout can also mean a gorgeous girl, or maybe a gorgeous guy. The knockout is what Eliana is dancing to. It's instrumental. Her legs are bare. She has those little shorts on and the big wide belt like a fighter, a prize fighter would win, and jazz shoes. So we are seeing every single mistake, every single flaw in her legs. The grand jeté, you're seeing the muscles, you're seeing her lines, uh, her foot placement. Is she in the big toe? Is the little pinky toe off the floor? If you take my Zoom classes, you know exactly what I am talking about, right? Because I harp on this and harp on this every week to the kids who take my Zoom class, who are improving immensely, yes. And you can sign up for the Zoom classes, just follow my Instagram. There's a link, you click on it, it'll take you right to show clicks. And these classes are cheap. They're like 19.99, 22 bucks, and you can get all the secrets. Right. Me out without even raising a fist. You knock. So when the words come in, you realize it's musical theater, right? Yes. So it's a guy's voice singing and she's doing the cutesy little kid faces. We know she wants to do lyrical or contemporary. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you have to mix it up. And Eliana wants to, well, wanted to work professionally as a dancer. And she did. She was Clara at the Radio City Music Hall for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular performing for 2,000 people every show. That's a huge credit on her resume, and I got to see her. So I know that she was just as spectacular as that entire Christmas spectacular. Here, I'm not so sure. And I haven't gotten up yet. I've gone 12 rounds and never hit the ground. This is actually a really difficult technical routine. It sounds like this little kid musical theater number, but it's really not. This is a tough routine. She's hitting the accents in the music, which is great. Uh, she starts those turns so parallel though. I like a turn to start turned out. And her a la second turns in the fuerte, when she does a single and then another single, she doesn't show you the back of that leg. She's not completely turned out. I've been on her about that. Now we're going to watch Nia's routine, Getting Away With Murder. I'm gonna tell you something about this number. I looked and I looked for the perfect costume. I wanted street clothes. I wanted a dress. I didn't want booty shorts or this or that. I didn't want it to look costumey. This is one of Nia's best numbers. I thought she looked just outstanding on stage. I thought the costume looked great. I'm gonna confess, I went to Ross because it was already eight o'clock at night when I left the studio. I bought, mm -mm, are you ready? 23 dresses. I remember it. 23 dresses I bought hoping that one would work for Nia. And it works. Watch. I think she looks like a young professional somebody that's in their 20s, right? They have their first big job. That's Nia. That's the character she's portraying. Now, what is she reading? It's a letter. We don't know who the letter's from. Is it her landlord? Is she getting kicked out? Is it 
her boss, she's getting fired? Is it a friend telling her that another friend passed away? We have no idea. But we see the anger. How do we show anger in choreography? Flex the foot. Different flex foot than Eliana. Eliana just did all that cute stuff with her feet flexed. This is angry. It's hard, it's sharp, she's flicking. And that parallel stance, when she reads the letter, and it's happy and it's sweet, and then all of a sudden, she's reading words and it changes her emotion. It changes her character. Let's keep watching. Nice control on that devil pay flex foot to the seated ground position. She didn't kerplop. Little turned in foot at the beginning of that pirouette. Now the stomping of the letter, the foot stomping around. If I did that once with her, I did that 20 times with her. Guaranteed, go. You never really see the knife on the floor, right? Because you're looking at the letter the whole time. You're looking at the paper and that's what we wanted. So the paper's white and your eyes go to it. You never see the knife till the end. She killed him. So boys out there, be careful who you send a letter to. This is Maisie doing Encore from season seven. Dynamic performer. To start a routine in a full back split, oof, that's risky, but we did it and she did it. If you miss that, if you bobble, if you drop your leg, it's gonna throw off your mental focus for the rest of the routine. She is such a dynamic performer, this kid. She's done some really difficult movements, that allusion to the side aerial, all of that stuff. Now I notice Holly, Dr. Holly, is sitting in front of Maisie's mom and she can't help but smile. Holly's beaming. Is she beaming because she knows the camera's on her or is she beaming because the kid's a great performer? Come on. We did a group routine about botched the show, plastic surgery, and now Bryn is doing a solo called Botched. She actually had a really hard time seeing. So her face is completely covered. And when people have plastic surgery, they cover you up. Or maybe they're changing their identity and they want to change how they look. This is beautiful. Her movements on stage, and I'm so proud of Bryn. She is still dancing today. She's in the studio every day. She's teaching now, which, I mean, that's fine, but I'd like to see her perform professionally. This is beautiful, just her movement. And she does that parallel, weird, freaky stuff, but she still looks feminine and pretty doing it. She's looking in the mirror for the first time. You see the hands go up and you know that's the mirror. You can tell by the look on her face. Ah, beautiful arabesque, beautiful control. This was rough to practice and not get caught in that fabric. You never knew what that fabric was gonna do. It was different every time. But she did it, she didn't get caught. No, 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 yes. Pretty beautiful turned up pirouette. And did you guys see how high she was in releve? That's what I talk about on my Zoom classes, that you get so high in releve, you don't need to do 50 turns. You can do two beautiful turns. She's a little girl still, so mature. Bravo, Bryn. Another fan favorite, Kendall, performing The Journey. It's unexplained. The spark. She nails a really nice pirouette right at the beginning of the dance. It's a little chug at the ending. She's a turner, she's always been a turner. She's just getting tired at the end of the number. Stamina. And you kids, when you learn it, solo as quickly as these kids had to do. You know, you go over the beginning over and over and over because you're learning it. But then the end, you never get to practice. So it's important to go to the middle of the routine and work it to the end, middle to the end, middle to the end, middle to the end. So you keep that stamina up at the end. Kalani, season seven. 
Say something. Say anything. This is a really good number two. Your shorts. We just want to have a red leotard built into that costume, but you can't. There's no time for that. I just need a word so I know you know I am still here. On that PK plie arabesque, she needs to really keep her shoulders square when she goes down. She gets out of that a little quick. Nails that ponche every time. And then you break your character and you walk back and you relax, relax. But the focus is there. And then boom, it's strong, it's hard. So it's like, she's saying to the guy like, say something, say anything. Don't just stand there and look like a dork. Right? I cannot believe this was a fan favorite. Presley doing Edward Scissorhands. Oh my goodness. This almost ended her mom's friendship with me. I mean, it was nuts. That kid dancing with those scissors. I mean, I don't know what the producers were trying to do to that kid. Certainly wasn't me. Now I would do a scissor hands number at the ALDC. We would do that, but probably a boy that was in the group and on the feminine steps, when the girls in a big production were doing something, he would come out and be the Edward Scissorhands character. And he might do a jump or a turn or this or that and have some interaction. But I wouldn't give this kid a solo to this. She's way, way, way. I, I just giving a kid a solo with these hands, it was like penance. And she's a good dancer. Nice height and flight on the side aerials with those arms. I mean, come on, she's way down. Now Presley's moved here to Los Angeles. Uh, she's doing some work professionally. She's also dancing at a dance convention every weekend. So she's doing something with their dancing. And this type of number, this scissor hands number, proves that she can work professionally because she can do any crazy novelty type thing that you throw at her. Now, what we watch Bryn do, or what we watch Kalani do and Kendall do, there's not a really big need for that. Those beautiful contemporary routines. Nobody's hiring you to do that in a show or a movie or this or a video. Mm -mm, not too often. Facial expressions were great. Her makeup was great. She did a contemporary lyrical routine, basically, with those scissors. And the one thing we had to work on was her not hitting the ground. Every time she went to the floor, she couldn't make this loud boom and this smack. Because when we wanted them to smack, we wanted the judges to hear it, but not all the other times. So that was a challenge in itself. Season eight, JoJo came back to Pittsburgh and Lily redid JoJo's straight jacket dance. Outstanding work. Gianna, Lily, I mean, everybody. This number should have won an Emmy. Absolutely. This routine is technically flawless. Those feet. She could kill somebody with those feet. Alignment. I talk about it every week. When she devil pays that leg over, it's perfect alignment. This kid's not using your hands. And think about the rehearsal. No hands, any time in rehearsal, even to figure it out. That face, glaring at those judges. Jojo took her hands out halfway through their dance. Lily does not, they stay in the whole time. That's what we did differently. And the ballet steps, no arms. That leg is all the way up there. And she can't even like devil pay and extend it because her arms are like this, so her elbow is like in the way of her leg and still gets there. I love this number. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Beautiful Ronde Jean to the attitude. This is right here when I knew that I wanted to make an investment in Lily, that I wanted to make her a star. I wanted to push, push, push her. Singing, acting, dancing. Had a song written for her. Recorded it. Eh, never came out. Back into the chin stand, Yogi headset. 
split, and there we go, the ending. I mean, come on. That kid did more difficulty and more dancing in two and a half, in two minutes and 30 seconds than the whole competition. Still in season eight, this is Giannina with Snowflake, and this is when she beat Brady. Beautiful costume, she's really confident when she steps on stage. Her uh, little beginning, when she pushes that leg around, looks really nice. Then she nails a beautiful outside uh, ballet passe turn. You can tell they really edited this a lot. Uh, when they went back to, you know, the network, they chopped it up a little bit. But what we saw was beautiful. And there was an internal meaning, a message that she was trying to convey. And she did it. The judges loved it. And she not only won the competition, she beat Brady. Speaking of Brady, next up, Eyes on Me. Has anybody seen him lately? Do you kids follow him? He will be a name in the ballet world, and that's what he always wanted. The technique is there, it's clean. Brady doesn't use his face a lot. He doesn't emote, so, you know, blindfold him, make it harder. The last fan favorite is the last unicorn. Let's watch Hannah. So for a teenager to be wearing that horn on her head, I can't believe she even did it. And she looks beautiful. The number is beautiful. This section of the routine is beautiful. She's doing a really nice job. Now, I just want to say one thing. Hannah actually went to Dubai with me. Hannah is dancing, dancing, dancing. She's dancing now more than she ever did. And her little brother is in a Broadway show. So Hannah's been able to spend a lot of time in New York City, which is great for her. And now she has that competition thing happening. Is she gonna let her brother get away with it? Is he gonna be the only one on Broadway? I think she has goals and uh, we've remained very friendly, her mom and I. And I've taught a little bit at her studio and so has Gianna. And uh, Hannah's just doing a great job right now. Nice job, Hannah. There's your fan favorites. Some of them were my favorites too, but I have others. There's so many routines that we did for Dance Moms, over 500 numbers. Some of them you've never seen before. Stop, whatever you're doing right now, just stop. Subscribe to my premium channel. You are going to get content that nobody else can see but you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe, like, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram and sign up for those Zoom classes so that you can look like those kids.